about a year ago, Yo Girl switched from Trello to ClickUp. Now, I absolutely love ClickUp and I loved Trello while I was using it, but there are definitely some differences in the two systems. And I definitely don't think that ClickUp is perfect for everybody or Trello is perfect for everybody. So in today's video, I wanna take you through an honest to goodness comparison of Trello and ClickUp. We're gonna use four different categories to judge them on and I'm gonna give you all the dirt. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Mm, I'm so excited for this video. I'm actually shocked that I've never done this video before. I don't know how I managed to switch from Trello to ClickUp and then never do a comparison video on YouTube for you. No clue. I guess it was just, we'll chalk it up to one of those like Jessica lost her mind moments. Before we get into the actual comparison, I want to mention two different things that I'm going to mention throughout the duration of this video. One is ClickUp and my link to ClickUp and my discount code to ClickUp. So I do have a discount code to ClickUp if you wanna try it out. I will link it in the description below or you can just go to heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp and that gets you 30% off of the unlimited plan or 20% off of the business plan. So it's a really rockin' discount code and I'm super happy that ClickUp allowed me to give that to you guys. But I will link that below. I will mention it a few times. I will mention ClickUp a lot in this video. So if you wanna sign up, the link is in the description. The other thing I will probably mention a few times is that I actually have a mini course all about ClickUp. It's literally called A Course About ClickUp and it's 27 bucks, super cheap and super easy to go through. And if you wanna learn more about ClickUp, if you decide throughout this video that that is the system for you, the link to access that course is heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp course. And that will be linked in the description as well. So I will probably nonchalantly mention both of those things like sign up for ClickUp or get ClickUp or try the ClickUp course or whatever throughout this video. So I wanted to make sure you knew where those links were. Now, I need to be really clear. I personally prefer ClickUp over Trello, but that doesn't mean that I think that ClickUp is the perfect program for every single person out there. If you wanna use Trello, use Trello. If you wanna use Asana, use Asana. But I am going to help you see um, the differences in the two programs so that you can kind of see which one fits you best. The reason I'm doing Trello versus ClickUp instead of Asana versus ClickUp or some other program versus ClickUp are, are there's two reasons. One, I think if you're gonna compare ClickUp to anything, it's most comparable to Trello. I don't think it's near as comparable to Asana or any other project management system that I have personally used, but Trello and ClickUp are very, very similar in a lot of ways, so that's where I'm gonna do my comparison. But also, I never really used Asana in a way that worked for anything, and I have not really used other project management systems besides Trello or ClickUp. So, I can't give you a good comparison of other programs because I have never used them. For the purposes of this video, we are going to judge both ClickUp and Trello on four categories. We're gonna look at it on ease of use, features, style, and cost. So ease of use, features, style options, and cost. So first, let's dive into the ease of use. I will not sit here and tell you that they're both so, so simple and easy to use. I do think once you get the hang of them, they're both so, so simple and easy to use. But as far as out of the gate, as far as learning curve, honestly, Trello is definitely more simple than ClickUp is. Now, I think that ClickUp is really easy to use once you understand it, but as far as that out of the box, I'm gonna be able to use it today kind of thing, Trello is definitely gonna win in this category. So if you are looking for something that's just super easy, doesn't really have a lot of intricacy, doesn't really have a big learning curve, Trello may be the way to go for you. But ClickUp, again, I think is easy to use once you understand what all the features are in the back end. And again, I have a course that teaches you all about ClickUp. So if you're like, you know what, I want the features, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. I want the features. I like everything about ClickUp, 
I'm slightly worried about the ease of use or the learning curve, then definitely grab that course. Again, it is heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp course. And inside the course, I give you the link again to sign up for your ClickUp account, or the link is below to get that discount that I mentioned. With Trello, there's not really a lot of extravagant features. You have boards, and then you have tasks within the board, and that is about it. So, so across Trello, you're gonna have boards for each thing that you wanna have a board for, and each board is going to have different tasks or cards within that section, and that's about as far as it goes, okay? In the, inside that task, you can have checklists and comments and attached images and all the things, but that's honestly, the basic features of Trello. In ClickUp, you actually have spaces and lists and boards and calendars and all the things. So there's definitely more intricacy, but once you learn how it kind of works together, I think it is just as simple to use on the day-to-day -day and honestly better in some ways. But again, if you were looking for something super simple, super out of the box, don't have a lot of learning curve, definitely go with Trello. But again, ClickUp is easy to learn and I have made it even easier with my A Course About ClickUp. All right, so features. You can probably tell by the way I just answered the last category of ease of use that ClickUp definitely beats out Trello in the features category. Trello has a lot of great features. It allows you to add checklists. It allows you to add recurring tasks to your boards or whatever. It allows you to get notifications. It, it has all of those things, but ClickUp literally blows it out of the water with features. One of my absolute favorite features of ClickUp that Trello does not have is that all of my spaces in ClickUp, everything that I'm doing in ClickUp, all can be looked at from a bird's eye view in one section if I want to. Trello is really missing the boat with that. They don't have that option. You have to go into each board to kind of view what's going on in that board. You can't really look at everything from one spot. Now you can use something like Butler for Trello and that will allow you to add some features and automations inside of Trello, but they're not built in and they're still not super seamless. So Trello is definitely trying to increase the amount of features that are in their program. And again, I don't have anything against Trello. I just think for my business, ClickUp works better. One of the features that made me move from Trello to ClickUp was that in ClickUp, I can add a due date and an assigned person to checklist items within a task. Now, I actually just went into Trello to see if that was something that was available now, and it is, but when I moved over, it wasn't. And honestly, that still doesn't make me feel much better about it because in ClickUp, I can click on anything that's assigned to me and it will show me everything across the entire system that is assigned to me, whether it's in this space or this one or this one or this one. And in Trello, you have to go board by board or team by team to see the things that are assigned to you. A couple of the other features that I can't, I, I can't just gloss over because they're awesome and ClickUp has them and Trello does not are the automations. Now, when I first moved over to ClickUp, they actually didn't have any automations and now they have a crap ton and they're so, so, so good. So things like causing a checklist to be added to a task when it is added to a certain space or causing a certain person to be assigned to a task when it is added to a certain space are all built into ClickUp. Now there's a ton more automations we could talk about, but those automations are built into ClickUp. In Trello, you can do things like that, but you have to use Butler for Trello. And Butler for Trello is a different system than Trello. So it takes a lot of backend integration to get those things to happen. Another quick feature I wanna mention that ClickUp has that Trello doesn't is a start date and due date. I really, really like this feature because we can assign start dates to things without making it look like that's the due date of the item. With Trello, that's not really a possibility. You have to just add a due date. Now, depending on the way your brain works, you may or may not even like any of these features. That is totally fine. And for me, as when I was a solopreneur, when I wasn't managing a team, I probably wouldn't have needed a lot of the functions and capabilities inside of ClickUp. But if we're doing a stark comparison of features from Trello to ClickUp, ClickUp wins hands down.
All right, third category here is the style options. And here's what I mean by this. If you have ever dabbled in different project management systems, you'll know that each system has its own style. So Trello is very much set up in a Kanban system. So it's got columns and sections and you move things across the board. It's very visual and it's great if you like that type of project management system, but that's it. You can't switch it from that to something else. You can add calendar views and things like that, but switching it from Kanban to list view to like table or timeline or gaunt system or whatever, you can't do that in Trello. In ClickUp, you can have whatever view you want to within each different space. So that means that it's a more complex system and more complete system to compete with all the other kind of project management systems out there. So if you like the Kanban style, then do it. If you like to view things by a calendar, then do it. If you like to view lists like in Asana, then do it. It's very, very robust and awesome. So I really like this because, you know, I may have team members that work better, their brain functions better on being able to see things in a list. Whereas my brain functions better on being able to visually see tasks and where they're going and what they should be doing. I also really like it because certain spaces inside of ClickUp, I want to see a calendar view. Like for instance, in my YouTube planning space, I want to see a calendar view because I want to see what video is going live on what date. And that way I can get a bird's eye view, click on each one within the calendar side and do what needs to be done there. But my editor very well may want to view the YouTube process in a list form and filter it only by what is assigned to her so she can just check things off as she goes. We can do that, it doesn't matter. We don't have to have the same view across all the boards or for every person on the team. So on my YouTube, process, I really like the calendar view, but when I'm planning out the launch of a course, or if I'm planning out the structure of a course, I may want to do the Kanban view. I don't even know that I'm saying Kanban right. Is it Kanban? I guess it is. Another really cool piece of the views is that it's got a ton that I don't use personally, but if you are coming from you know, corporate systems or things like that, it might be really useful to you. They've actually just added a new mind map view, which I think is really cool and I absolutely plan to use when I'm planning out my courses, etc. Because in the past, what I have done is if I'm wanting to like map something out or, um, you know, lay something out, I will get out a piece of paper or my iPad or something like that and I will scribble and write and get things in um, kind of like a web view and then take it from there and put it in ClickUp and organize it. But with that mind map view, now I can just mind map everything here in ClickUp and then I can assign dates and everything and look at it from the list view, the board view, the calendar view, whatever I want to. So as far as like the style options, it really is gonna depend on what you love, but I think ClickUp kicks Trello's butt, kicks Asana's butt, kicks anything's butt in this category because you can pick what you want based on the space, based on what you need for that thing, and based on the team member. And lastly, we're gonna talk about cost. So the fourth category we're doing this judging on is cost. And the cost of Trello is what initially made me look for other systems and find ClickUp and decide to move because here's what happened. Trello for a very long time was free, and if you wanted some upgraded features, it was like five bucks a month. Nothing crazy. It literally was like $5 a month. I don't think I ever paid for it for the first like year or two because I had so many affiliates clicking through and purchasing through my link, so I was getting my service for free. And honestly, you can't beat $5 a month, right? And I was managing my whole team. I was, I had tons of different spaces. It was great. I, there were definitely holes in the way I felt Trello should work, but I was dealing with them because the cost was unbeatable and it was working just fine. But about a year ago, about the time I switched, Trello decided to start charging per user within the system. And they were charging more than $5 a month for each user. So if I had my team and I had a video editor and I had myself and I had a VA and then maybe I had a graphic designer and then I had a project manager, that is five people and their rate is right at $10 per user per month for their cheaper plan. 
On their free plan, you can't have that many users because they wanna push you over to the paid plan for the amount of users you have, okay? So Trello does have a free plan. ClickUp also has a free plan. So I'm gonna hit on that in a second, but just know that on their free plan, you can't have a bunch of users. So when I started looking at the different people on my team, that was five people at $10 a month. It's 50 bucks a month that I was now gonna be paying for Trello versus the five I had been paying before. So this is what caused me to kind of go out and look for another system. And this is what caused me to find and fall in love with ClickUp. Now ClickUp also has a free plan and charges per user based on what level you want, but it's cheaper than Trello is per user, which I find really, really interesting because the features alone I would imagine would make it more costly, but that's not the case. So I'm gonna pop up each of their pricing screens as I talk through them here. Um, but essentially price structure for Trello is that there is a free plan. You can absolutely use the free plan and it has limitations. You can't use some of the features and you can't add a bunch of users to that free plan. Once you start adding users, you need to bump up to their business class level or enterprise level. Now, um, if you look at the business class level, if you are paying monthly per user, it is actually $12.50 per month per user. If you are paying annually, meaning you have to pay it all once a year rather than paying it monthly, then the annual cost is $9.99 per user per month. So if you're paying it monthly and you have three team members, you are looking at about $37.50 a month. And these could even be small team members. It doesn't mean like, full access or anything like that. This is just if you add someone to a Trello board to your team, it charges per that user. Now, if you wanna grab some of the even bigger, like more secure parts of Trello, then you pay $17.50 per user per month for the enterprise package. Now let's talk about ClickUp's cost. So you can be on ClickUp for free, just the same as you can be on Trello for free. And honestly, ClickUp's free plan is great because you can actually have unlimited users on their free plan as well as unlimited tasks and a certain amount of storage. If you need some of their more advanced features like being able to see your spaces by board view, list view, calendar view, et cetera, integrating guests, setting up dashboards, and automations, then you're gonna want to go with their unlimited plan, which if paid monthly is $9 a month and annually is five. And that is per user, just like Trello's was. So you're already a little cheaper per user if you go with this. That is the same and will offer you the same things that Trello's business class will. Now, if you wanna go even further in ClickUp, you can be bumped up to their business plan which is 19 per month per user if you're paying monthly or nine per month per user if you're paying annually. And this is gonna get you those mind map views, um, some more automations, even more guests, goals, and some other different features. Now this is the plan that I use. So I personally am using the business plan through ClickUp so I can have all the things that I could possibly need. If we're comparing the plans, remember a minute ago, if you were paying monthly with Trello and you had three team members, you'd be paying about $37.50 per month. If you are using the unlimited plan, which most people are gonna be totally fine with and is the comparable plan to that same plan on Trello, then paid monthly, you are only paying about $27 a month for a team that only has three users. So it's a savings of about $10.50 a month if you go with ClickUp over Trello. I'll be honest, I think it's completely insane that ClickUp is cheaper than Trello because again, the features are just unmatched. Like you cannot possibly compare the features that are in ClickUp to Trello's features. Um, and the fact that they're cheaper and they have more features kind of makes it a no-brainer. Also, again, remember that both have a free plan you can get started with. If you want to sign up for ClickUp, whether you want to sign up for the free plan and then bump up as you need it or whatever, go ahead and use my link in the description below. That will get you a discount when you're ready to move up in your plans. Or if you already know you're moving two people, three people, four people, whatever over, and you want some of those more advanced features, or if you just wanna pay for yourself 
a one person team, but you want the more advanced features, you can go ahead and do that on ClickUp. And remember my link below is gonna get you 30% off that unlimited plan through ClickUp or 20% off the business plan through ClickUp. So if you are a one person team, but you want all the features that would normally cost you $60 a year to use ClickUp with the normal cost. But if you go through my link, it will only cost you $42 a year. So it's a really, really, really great discount that they're not giving to just anybody. So trust me when I tell you that if you wanna sign up for ClickUp, I would use my link so you can get those discounts. Okay, so there's a ton of different ways we could compare Trello to ClickUp or Asana to ClickUp or Trello to Asana or whatever. But based on the four categories that I picked out for this video, specifically as far as ease of use, features, style options, and cost, ClickUp beats Trello three out of four times. Now again, the ease of use part is definitely something Trello wins at. But again, if you will grab my ClickUp course, which is linked below, or you can go to heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp course, then you can understand ClickUp from the get-go, and I don't think you'll have any trouble with that ease of use part or learning curve. All right, so that is seriously it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this in-depth comparison of ClickUp versus Trello, and I hope that it helped you make the decision on which one is gonna work best for you in your project management needs. And again, just to hit on it, I do have a ClickUp course, it's 27 bucks. It also includes templates. So if you're running a business, I included some templates that you can go ahead and start using so you don't have to build out your own workflows or anything like that. And you can buy templates at checkout as well if you want a few more. And to grab that ClickUp course, it is just heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp course. And I also have it linked below in the description. And then if you just wanna try ClickUp and you wanna see if you like it, go ahead and get started with it with the link below or by going to heyjessica.com forward slash click up to get started for free. And then if you decide you wanna stay or you wanna switch, then you can go ahead and do that within the plans and with the discounts that I mentioned earlier. So hopefully this was helpful. If y'all have any questions about ClickUp specifically, I would love for you to leave them in the comments below so that I can answer them in a future video. Bye y'all.